Megan Lewis, she's in the control room now. I know this is an exciting moment from her. There we have employees from Magic all across complete. the United States. This is Huntsville, Alabama. Big shout out to our team there. Turn. And of course, oh, GS1 HQ, start. Ken Washington, Ken DC. Washington. All right, rocket going through its last GS2 motions here, making sure the tanks are pressurized to their proper flight levels. That's right. A warm day in Florida, but that rocket is super cold nice with its chill and propellants. T-minus two minutes, T -minus two minutes to go. LNG on the first stage, liquefied, actually liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen on the second stage. New Glenn looking beautiful. And there you go. Beach goers with a great view. What makes this place so special down here on the Space Coast? A day on the beach, but you can sit there and because our pad is so far south. A spectacular Power view internal. for everybody here in Cocoa Beach. Now we've trans transitioned from ground power to the vehicle's own internal power. I mean, we are getting close. Ariel, <laughs> hold my hand. <laughs> I'm getting really excited. <laughs> there are those BE4s, seven of them, ready to take New, or new Glenn. <sighs> 3.85 million pounds of thrust combined. Minus 60 seconds. In just 60 Range seconds green, here, as mentioned before, we will, we will light four of the engines, then three of the engines, just about a second or two off for a staggered start. You'll see the big water deluge, and that's when you know that it's game on. I love hearing all those sounds. You hear the power up. You certainly do. And with that, you'll see that water any second now. Let's turn it over to seconds. launch control. Let's go, New Glenn. GS1 hydraulics internal. Never tell GS1 me the odds. Flight level. GS2 at flight level. Autopilot enabled. <gasps> T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Three, two, one. Lift up, detector. First motion. New Glenn has cleared the tower. Our team say 
then we'll hit Miko, main engine cutoff. That's going to lead to a sequence of events. We will separate the first stage from the second. And that's when the first stage is going to begin its journey back home. We're going to see if we can land the booster separately, of course. We will get the second stage off and going with the NASA SDK satellites the on board on their way to Mars. Trajectory continues to look good, seeing good data quality coming down from the vehicle. Body rate response Great to hear phenomenal. that good data quality. All seven engines continue Looking to look nominal. Good. Next up, Miko, which is main engine cutoff. The cheers are real. You can hear them all the way in here. And we have Miko. <gasps> and we have Miko. And we have good stage set. We have good stage separation. Okay. And we have ignition on stage two. Both engine and parameters look good. Stage two ignition. Oh, you see the two rockets there. Body rate stamping out nicely. Both BPU engines look good at the uh, high thrust set point. Body rate responses look good. Three minutes, Love 43 that. seconds into flight. Look at that view. We have good indication of payload turn jettison. Both B3U oh, engines. Great. Continue to look good, Fair body rate response is normal. Seeing good data coming down from both stages. Great data, we're four minutes into NG2. And you saw the spectacular view from look good. down rate from our GS2. Response continue to look good. You say the the nine and a half minute burn for of the GS2. Four uh, minutes, 25 seconds there. into flight. All right, at nine minutes is when we're expecting the first stage to touch down on Jacqueline. Approximately two minutes remaining in the GS-1 coast. Thank you again, everybody, for joining us for NG2. So far, a nominal mission. GS-2 is now 320 kilometers downrange. Traveling at 2.8 kilometers per second. Trajectory we had continues to look good on both burn, stages. Clean separation, clean fairing. Right down the middle of the range track. Engine operating parameters on GS2 look good. Five it sounds minutes, like our GS2 is having a beautiful ride. The as, the NASA escapade satellites are GS1 exposed to space now right now. And we've got. GS1 the coming down for landing GS2 body at T plus nine minutes. One minute remaining in the GS1 coast. Continue to see good data coming down from both GS1 and GS2. Body rates on both stages look good. The three U engines look good. Everything looking good, looking nominal. Seeing good TV scene. And Ariane, this moment coming up is an important one. Trajectory it is. We're going to, to. We're going to relight the BE4 engines for the reentry burn. Body rates snowing out on GS1. The exo turn is complete. There you go. It's about 300,000 feet. Less than 100 Six kilometers up there coming flight. in for a landing on the Jacqueline, 375 miles offshore, waiting for the first time to land and Blue Origin's new Glenn booster shortly. on the Jacqueline. Continue to see body rates on GS1. That looks great. We have our booster reentry burn. All, all three engines. No matter what happens next, we have had a good day. This is further than we made it on NG1. That's right. 
the indication of engine ignition on GS-1. Continue to see good data from GS-1. About a minute and a half. Engine parameters look good. Is when we would see. Confirm engine cutoff. Never on told me the odds. Return to Earth. You Seven see it in kind of that horizontal position. We've got the streaks on the base of the booster, which give it lift. So right. we can basically fly this booster. Of course, we're using the forward fins as well, plus uh, some of our reaction control system. To uh, as well as the gimbling on the beaten forward engines to turn the rocket the accordingly. On here, it starts to tilt GS1 down. Now halfway One minute to go. Less than three thousand feet. Look good. Three thousand feet. Three thousand feet. GS2 throttle down complete. Responses look good. Eight minutes twenty seconds from the flight. Landing burn ignition, and we have landing burn ignition. See three good engines. We've got our booster landing burn. Engine control looks good. Of course, those clouds are there. Eight minutes, 43 seconds. Flight deployed. Now down to landing shot burn. from our booster. Standing back to touch. Hundred kilometers down range, traveling at 5.9 kilometers per second. It. On the right hand side, GS2. On the left hand side, you have our booster, our Less than two booster. minutes now remaining. Never Chico. tell me the odds right there on the Jacqueline in the middle of that feather. Absolutely incredible. Congratulations, guys. A landed orbital rocket. What an incredible what a day. day for Blue Origin, for the space industry. These two systems continue to look good to return. I'm, I'm speechless, which I, is rare for me. Approximately one minute this, remaining this, in the burn. GS2 continues. Of course, on a nominal path. On a lot, on a nominal path. I, I, I need a second to catch my again. Your body rates remain stable. I think Grab I hit my hand burn. banging on the table too much. This is incredible. On TVC and MR. Tank pressure is nominal. Bottle pressure is stable. Oh, oh I'm 
I'm getting worried they're going to replay the landing. That's something so good. You got to watch it twice. Give it back to us. 12 minutes, 30 seconds in the flight. Look at that. Beautiful, by controlled landing Perfect. of the first stage of New Glenn with the one central BE4. Let's wait here for our second stage. It's going to cut off its engine. It's right. done its first burn. NBS, Seco, GS2 engine cut off. Seco 1. Yeah. GS, Seco 1 is confirmed, GS2. Right Fire down the track, currently in the coast. We have one, one for two so far on our two objectives.